Strike King shake him up head in his face. You know, sometimes ledge fishing, it's not all about how big and, you know, we talk about the gizzard shad on the Tennessee River and everything. And, uh, you know, on a five fish limit, you need to, uh, that's a pretty fish. You need to be throwing some big baits. Uh, but the old Strike King shaky head so many times in tournaments, um, right here out on the Tennessee River, I've had to go back to uh, 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon line, spliced to 20 pound braid, uh, Pro TI lose rod with a uh, Custom Pro 2000 series reel. But getting down and finding those schools of fish and they're not reacting to the, the you know, 6XD, 10XD, swim bait, the things that I like to throw all the time that catches big ones. Uh, when they're not in a feeding mood, a lot of times they get that way. They're not, they're, they're just not biting. We get a lot of pressure on the lakes now. And uh, man, this thing right here has bailed me out so many times. It has put me a five fish limit in the boat. And as you can see, that, that was a good chunky tournament fish right there in the three pound range close to it. And uh, old morning dawn, 6.5 inch KVD perfect plastic finesse worm, 316 ounce. Strike King Shaky Head. In my opinion, the Strike King Shaky Head is the best shaky head out there because look at that, I can't even pull my bait off of this barb. It's sticking and it's pulling the plastic off. That's how good it sticks. That that barb on there angles back towards the head. It's got a big five volt hook in it. Uh, it's just a really, you know, green pumpkin black uh, are the two really only colors you need. When you bite a, or when you get a little bit of bad spot in the head of your worm, just bite a little bit of it off and thread it right back on there. It's good to go. Strike King Perfect Plastics KVD Finesse Worm, six and a half inches, 6.5, 3 16 ounce shaky head, 10 pound fluorocarbon, 8, 12, whatever you prefer. Money.